This is a demo video for I Lease My Car Pro. This video will cover the leasing calculator. Uh, the first thing you want to do when opening up the lease calculator for the first time is to set up your tax settings. Uh, so just press the info button and you will see this screen. Click on the state and you want to choose the state that you are going to be leasing the vehicle in. Uh, setting the state determines what taxes are applied and how they're applied. Uh, you can see that as you scroll through the states, there's different options that are displayed. So let's pick, uh, pick Nevada. So it says tax applied to monthly payment. If you click the info button, it tells you a bit more information about how the tax is being set. If there's an error, simply email support and I can fix it. Then enter in your tax rate. Uh, at least my car pro does not set the tax rate for you. In many states the tax is actually is, depends on what city you live in. So uh, simply enter in the tax rate and it'll be remembered uh, the next time you use the calculator. Uh, you can set whether your residuals in dollars or percent. Uh, you can set whether you want to deal with uh, interest rates and money factor or APR percentage. Most uh, leases are money factor, so we'll use that. You can also set which fees are taxed. Uh, a lot of times the acquisition fee or the dock fee is taxed, so you can turn those switches to on so that can be handled properly. Then you'll want to go ahead and start entering in the information on your deal. So you enter in the MSRP. It's fifty thousand dollars. I'm buying it for forty-five thousand dollars. You can use a comma or a dollar sign, uh, or not. Doesn't matter. Click on cap reduction. You can enter in any cash you're going to put down on the lease. Uh, you can also enter in information for a trade-in value and the loan. Decide not to uh, trade in the vehicle. Simply flip the switch to off. Or you can look at your payment either way and decide whether you want to do that. You can enter in your money factor and then press the info button to see what interest rate that corresponds to. You can also roll in fees, which is very common with the lease to roll in an acquisition fee or security deposit. To roll in a fee, simply flip the switch to on and that fee will be rolled into the, the cap cost and basically your payment will increase uh, because the fee has been added. You can enter in your residual. Uh, if you've turned on the gas guzzler tax helper, you'll see this screen. You can enter in how much gas guzzler tax there was on this vehicle. You can enter in your lease term and then press calculate and you'll see uh, that the payment is $560. You're paying this amount of cash uh, or tax on the cash that you put down and the fees. Then press your summary button to see more information about your deal. You can give the deal a name, which is what is used when you store it in your deal garage. So let's say this is a BMW X5. And if you're a salesperson, you can put in the name of your customer and their phone number, or if you're uh, a, a, just a consumer, you can put in your salesperson's name and phone number. If you have an iPhone, there'll be a button here, and you can call your salesperson or a customer right from the app. Then fill in the remaining fees that you didn't roll into your lease here. So it's a $250 dock fee, and those fees get added to the cash due at drive off. You can see here is your payment. Press the info button to, or the deal garage button to save the deal in your garage. Now the next deal you save, you need to give it a different name or it's just going to ask you if you want to overwrite it. You can email your deal right from the app. And then you can see that your deal garage deal is right here, this BMW X5. You can see the uh, customer's name and phone number and some important details of the deal. And to load it back in, just touch it. It will reset all your sales tax settings and everything for you. Thanks.